Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Robin and I am on day 17 of my month of decluttering my house. Now we are a recently blended family, um, recently moved in together a few months ago and have not got a grasp on our space yet. So I took this month to try and declutter and reorganize some of the spaces in our house that just are not working. So our kitchen, is all over the place. Now I moved in here after Dave. I moved um, me and my daughter in with him and his daughter. So he had set all of this up prior. So now we are going through, we have added some of my stuff in and need to kind of figure out what we need and what we can get rid of. Now this drawer I did some setting up in when I added my stuff. It's functioning okay, but I feel like it could be a lot better. So first thing I did was clean out these two drawers. I knew I wanted to redo both of them. So I got all the stuff out, gave them a quick vacuum and wipe down, and then started deciding what I wanted to put where. We have two awkward corner cupboards on the bottom half of our kitchen and then two on the top as well. So we do use the items in here quite often, but it just turns into such a mess in this corner. So I decided to take the pots that we use all the time and put them in a drawer. That way they are easier for us to access and put away than it is for us to try and stack them in the awkward corner cupboard. Now the two pans that we have, I am going to put in the bottom of our stove. We don't have anything in there, so I decided that's probably going to be the best place for them for now. While I was filming, um, they were dirty by the sink, so I didn't even plan out where to put them. But I think we are going to try that and see how it works. I was planning on putting all of our bowls and then Tupperware containers in this drawer, but I always forget I am a plastic Tupperware container person. Dave is a glass Tupperware container person. So we have a few sets. So I realized once I got everything in here, there was no way we were gonna fit the glass set in. And it just didn't make sense to have Tupperware in two separate areas. So I do end up changing this drawer. Over here is the matching awkward corner. Um, this one is smaller than the first one. So what I decided to do in here was use it for the Tupperware so we could better set it up. And then as well, any containers like the empty cookie jar or empty um, containers that we aren't using at the moment, they are going to go into the bottom as well. I'm sure some of you noticed the scarf and hat that were stuffed in the bottom of this space at the beginning of the video. So when I cleaned out our hat bin, I had a pile to go that I forgot about. Um, so I had to hide it really quick before we picked the girls up. Otherwise they would have seen it and then wanted to keep all the items all over again. So if you have kids, I'm sure you can feel the struggle with getting rid of stuff. 
It is so difficult, but these ones are out of here soon. So this container has some of the things that Dave likes to use when he cooks that he doesn't use on a daily basis. So I did just put them in the bottom here. That way they are out of the way, but they still have a place where he knows where to find them. So back to this awkward cabinet, I decided it was gonna be best used for us for our small appliances. So on the bottom are the things we don't use very often, and then the top is the ones that we use on an almost daily basis or a regular basis. And then as well, I am going to be adding in the bakeware. So the muffin tin and the baking pans as well. I went through and we had not one, not two, but three sets of measuring cups and two sets of measuring spoons. So I went through, decided which ones were gonna be best for us to keep and then got rid of the rest. So this basket got really small, really fast. The next thing we had a lot of were these corn on the cob skewers. I went through those as well as these bag clips. Now I am still looking for a home for some of these things and unfortunately this declutter took me quite a good chunk of the day so I am going to have to finish tomorrow because these are supposed to be quick and easy ones which are turning into long projects and I still have life and things to do around here so I will finish this video tomorrow and I just wanted to say a big shout out to everybody decluttering along with me I am so happy that you guys are getting some motivation for motivation from my channel I love making these videos for you guys Make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you guys got done if you did anything over the weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos.